In this video, we'll learn to take information from one format and represent in another format. So what this means is that you might take information from a list and represent it in a tally chart, take it from a table and represent it in a bar chart. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take information from a list and we'll put that in a table, then a tally chart and finally a bar chart. So what I have here is information from one class on how they travel to college. So I've gone around and I've asked a class how they actually travel to college. Do they take the bus? Do they travel by car? Do they take the train? Or do they walk? So uh, I will represent that now to begin with in a table. So what are the possible ways of travelling, the modes of travel? So we've got bus, so I'll add a row with bus, car is another one, then bus, bus, bike, walk, And that's it. So haven't got any trains, nobody set train. We've got bus, car, bike and walk. So that's the four of them. And here I'll include the number. So we've got bus one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six who travel by bus. And car, we've got one, two, three. Three people travel by car, bike, one, two, three. And walk, we've got one, two, three, four. So what is this? That's the mode of transport. Mode of transport. And that is number of learners. And this shows how to represent them. Finally, we could add at the bottom the total. So we've got six and four which makes ten thirteen sixteen i could have also added these two three and three make six so ten and six make sixteen so this is how you represent this information in a table now i'll show the same information in a tally chart so I've got the table I created before with modes of transport, bus, car, bike, walk, and the number of learners in the other column. Now, tally chart, as the name suggests, you actually draw tallies or marks in there. So instead of this number six, I'm going to have marks, six marks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we always make a block of six like this. So we do the four, the first four marks straight and then we draw across another mark to make five of them and then there is the next one to make six. In this way I can read a block of five very quickly. I don't need to count the marks, the tallies. So 
Now car, there's three of them, so I'll go one, two, three. And the same thing with a bike. One, two, three. Walk, there's four of them. One, two, three, four. We don't normally have a total in a tally chart unless you have an extra column here with the numbers. So I'll leave that out for the time being. Now I'll try and show the same information in a bar chart. So I will draw bars to represent how many learners take the bus or walk, cycle and so on. So what I'm going to be starting off with is actually drawing a vertical line like this and a horizontal line next to it. So they both meet at this point, which is where zero comes. And then normally we put the numbers in there. So let's have a look. We said we had three who traveled by bus. So there was bus three and there were car, no, actually bus one, two, three, four, five, six. So six traveled by bus. There were three who traveled by car. And we had bike, three, and walk, four. So I can double check here to make sure that the information is correct. So what I'm going to be doing, I'll put the these modes of transport here at the bottom and the numbers alongside it so that we can see how tall the bars are for each of these. So we've got bus, car, bike and walk. And the numbers will go up. The highest it goes is six. So let's see if I can do them going up in one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's exactly it. So that is a good idea. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I didn't have enough space, I might think of going in jumps of two. So I'd have two, four, six, eight, and so on. But that's not needed here. So what I'm going to be doing now, showing how many travel by bus. So we've got bus, that's six. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Showing that here. Now you could color this in or draw lines in it, however you wish. I'll go for the lines because it's easier. Then we have car, three, so three people travel by car. Three ride bike to class or cycle. And we've got walk, there is four who walk. So there is four, there we go and that is done i've left a gap in each of these and that gap is the same i can't have two squares gap here and one there that gap is one square throughout and but i could have it without gaps as well and that's perfectly fine but all of them would need to be without gaps and Right, so what does that show? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What does that mean? That is number of learners or number of people. 
and bus, car and bike and walk, that is modes of transport or modes of travel. And what does this represent? And that is information from one class on how they travel to college. So I could write um, it here. So how learners in one class travel to college. It's really important that the title summarizes what the bar chart is about and we shouldn't forget the numbers what they mean and those at the bottom which is the modes of travel in this case so we need to include every one of these that is in there and the bars need to go up to how many learners there are who travel by bus, car, bike. So that should be representing those.